Good morning Interweb, this is follow up from my last video, why these are the best numbers. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out, otherwise none of this is going to make any sense. TLDR, I showcased a system called the Kaktovic in UPX numeral system in an attempt to encourage conlangers to play with feature numeral systems in their conlangs a little bit more. And boy did people play. Loads of people made loads of stuff and send it to me, which was great. You slash scrape slime for fun made a KI font and a script that changes all the numbers on the page into KI, which is just cool and you can download it and it's in the description. So you should definitely go check that out. On Twitter, Sarki the Canadian uh, sent me their base 12 feature numeral system inspired by the last video and it's really cool. Bonus cool points go out to you for creating a cursive version of your script. Well played. You slash Crybound sent in a base eight feature system where there are three numerals, zero, one, and two, and all other numerals are composed of those numerals. A system, love it. And 1998 Tikahiri also sent in a base 12 system, which reminds me an awful lot of Maya numerals. Maya numerals, by the way, another example of IRL featural numeral systems, which is a thing lots of people pointed out. KI numerals are not the only featural numeral system out there, it's just my favorite. Dude, this is amazing. I wonder how well it translates to base 10. I'm glad you enjoyed it. As it turns out, they work really well in base 10. And this is what they would look like. All the same visual tricks would apply. And in fact, a cool feature of featural systems is that they can be applied to any base. Because if you think about it, the entire feature system in KI, for example, is built around the one glyph and the five glyph, AKA, there's a glyph for the value of one and there's a glyph for the sub base. So if we were to take the KI numerals into base 12, for example, we could do this where we have a glyph for one and our sub base glyph is now four and all other numerals are built from that. Or we could represent them like this. We have a glyph for one and our sub base glyph now gets the value of three and all other glyphs are built from that. And you can do that with any feature system like the Maya numerals, any of the submissions I got, etc. Could you elaborate on how it shows thousands and hundreds? I think I might have missed something. Yeah, so the KI numeral system uses standard positional notation just like our numeral system, except we use base 10 and they use base 20. So 100 in our system is 100, zero, zero. that is 1 times 10 to the power of 2, plus 0 times 10 to the power of 1, plus 0 times 10 to the power of 0. 100 in KI numerals would be five zero. That is five times 20 to the power of one plus zero times 20 to the power of zero. A thousand in our system is one zero zero zero. One times 10 to the power of three plus zero times 10 to the power of two plus zero times 10 to the power of one plus zero times 10 to the power of zero. A thousand. A thousand in KI numerals would be two ten zero. That is two times 20 to the power of two plus 10 times 20 to the power of one plus zero times 20 to the power of zero, which is a thousand. So yeah, basically the same as decimal, except we think in powers of 10, and they think in powers of 20. This system breaks down with any decimal notation. This is only useful for when math is simple. Unfortunately, the world doesn't agree with using this. So as just mentioned, the KI numerals use standard position notation, just like we do, except they use base 20 and we use base 10. Ergo, decimals, that is numbers to the right of the radix point, work the exact same way. So KI numerals can handle decimals just as well as any other standard positional notation like ours. We just did math without using math. Ugh, laughs in geometry. Geometry is math. Yeah, so lots of people left comments to this effect, basically saying that, hey, all that like shape manipulation you're doing, like that's basically just geometry and geometry is math. So it's wrong of you to say without using maths or no maths required. And you are correct. You are 100% correct. I suppose I was thinking more of an everyday definition of maths. Like when people say, uh, I'm bad at maths, or I have difficulty with maths, or I hate maths, they're usually referring to arithmetic. And people in everyday life struggle with maths sometimes. So I was kind of pitching the idea that there's a simplicity and ease in the KI numerals that would alleviate some of that burden. So like, hey, you know all those problems you have with maths going through your everyday life? Yeah, here, no maths required. 
without using mats, etc. Now, if you think that's too expedient, that's entirely cool. I 100% accept that. I still think it holds. Those were like sales pitches I was trying to make, and I wasn't trying to be overly accurate in any of those statements. This is misleading. You chose numbers that made it easy. If you pick random numbers, your divisions will usually be messier. So lots of people also left feedback to the effect of I was being misleading or I was cherry picking my examples to support a point that I wasn't really making. So I think people thought that I was trying to prove to people that all mathematical operations, all long division, etc., is always super easy using the ki numerals because it's just a case of always you know, matching up shapes and things like that. But I, I wasn't making that point. The point I was trying to make with this video is to prove to you that these numerals make counting and mathematics, etc., easier, right? So I was, my goal was to explain to you how they work and how they make life easier and give examples of that. So like, yeah, just picking around the number in my head, let's say 80% of the time, uh, mathematics with the ki numerals is just as awkward as it is with the Hindu Arabic numerals that we use. That means that 20% of the time you are doing these visual tricks and that's really easy to do. Ergo, it's a better, easier system than English, which permits visual tricks like 0% of the time. You see what I'm saying? So I hope that makes sense. I apologize if the impression I gave was that I was trying to prove that it's always easy all the time. Again, not the case. I was trying to go for it's easier. Here are the cases. Here are some of the cases where it's easier. Uh, wouldn't it be so much better if we counted using this system as opposed to ours? Um, yeah, that's the case I was trying to make. Again, apologies. Anyways, that was another installment of Q&A follow-up type thing. Uh, whatever this video format has become. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I cleared up any points you may or may not have. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful 2020. I will see you very soon with another video. Until next time, Edgar out.